announced an input and sale in quick succession, with today looking at the Pioneer CDJ2000 Nexus. Pioneer calls this a massive upgrade to the CDJ2000, but is it as big as they say? If you just picked up some normal CDJ2000s or want to know a difference, then this is the review for you. We've already reviewed the CDJ2000, so if you want to know more about the basic features, hit the link in the video to watch that review. In this video, we'll cover the main differences. Don't forget to check out hotdjgear.com where you'll find lots of DJ t-shirts on sale starting from $15 with worldwide shipping. So first off, let's cover the main things that haven't changed. Jog wheel is the same as before, the layout's practically identical, and the build quality is the same. On a quick glance, this looks like a CDJ2000. But let's talk about the screen first, which is one of the bigger changes. It's a much higher resolution than before, allowing you to see waveforms more clearly, and it's 6.1 inches in size. You now get a moving waveform on the screen, and using the knob on the right you can zoom in and out, handy for looking up key parts of the track such as drops. You can now do beat grid adjustment directly on the CDJ now, before you'd have to do that within record box, so this means less time having to stop everything beforehand. You can now view your loops on screen, and with quantize on, you can see where they are on the waveform as well. On the left is the quantize button now. Before you'd have to go into menus to access this, so this makes it a lot easier to use that feature. You can quantize cues to make DJing easier, so your cue always comes in on time as well. You also notice on the left of the screen is an extra quick select button, this time for record box. So whilst before you could load in music via the MP3 and other buttons, you can now directly have access to record box and load them in that way as well. One great feature in this unit is you can now store custom CDJ settings to a USB stick. So when you turn on a unit, it normally defaults to set options. Now you can have it load up your preferred options along with any deck connected via the Pro Link. There's brand new sync buttons on the right of the, the unit. They have their fans and their haters, so we won't go into this too much, but this is the first hardware unit to, to incorporate a master sync. Turning that on means up to four CDJs can be totally in sync for each other, allowing you to focus more on the effects and playing music than beat matching. We know some of you will disagree with that statement for various reasons, the option is there if you feel it helps your style. There's a new slip function which allows the user to scratch, loop roll or reverse without affecting the actual playhead time, so this silently continues song playback resulting in smoother transitions. Finally, the big deal, which Piney haven't really shouted about as much as we thought they would, is the Wi-Fi mode. Exactly like the DDJ Aero, this allows music to be played wirelessly off an iPhone or a tablet, and this is a big feature on this device which is why it's bumped up its price quite a bit. Again, this has its fans and detractors, but this is probably the biggest upgrade this unit has. So, the main question you're going to be asking is, should you buy this or a normal pair of CDJ2000? This has about a $500 price bump compared to the normal CDJ2000s. But if you have to have the best, then this has to be it. It has everything in the kitchen sink included, until next year of course. But you can do without the Wi-Fi, the sync mode, slip function, and a few other nice but rather small features. You're probably better off saving $500 putting that towards an IMX 1000 or something similar. It's a great unit and they've improved on the standard CDJ 2000s, but that doesn't mean the normal 2000s are now worthless. It's still right behind this unit with a couple of features only certain DJs will miss. So if you've only just picked up some CDJ 2000s, still got a great CD deck, so I wouldn't worry. Check out hotdjgear.com for loads more DJ t-shirts, the latest DJ news, reviews and more. Thanks for watching.